a streetwise guide how to deal with worry and anxiety during the coronavirus crisis. There's no doubt we're living through a very difficult time right now. It's easy to see how people can start to feel overwhelmed and scared. You may never have had anxiety before and these feelings may be new to you. You may already be an anxious person and your anxiety may be a lot worse. Or you may be an anxious person but you're actually feeling calm right now. What's that about? You may have any of the following symptoms. While feeling like this is rubbish, the good news is you are completely normal. There is nothing wrong with you. You are having a totally understandable human reaction to a scary situation. The even better news is you can do something about these feelings and you have all the time in the world to practice. Let's have a very quick biology lesson on what is happening in our bodies and why. When our body is faced with a danger, a small gland in our brain, the amygdala, springs into action and within half a second it releases a powerful boost of chemicals through our body. This process is called fight or flight and it developed to help protect ancient humans from wild animals. In fight or flight mode, blood diverts from your organs to your arms and legs, your heart beats faster your senses are hyper alert and a whole range of other things happen in your body. Our life-saving amygdala however doesn't know when we are faced with threats that we can't run away from or fight and it does not distinguish between things that are real and things that are in our heads. It just jumps into action when it thinks we're in danger. So when we're feeling scared during this crisis, our brain is preparing us to fight or run. But we can't. We can't do anything other than sit tight and wait for it to end. While we can't do a great deal about what is happening in the world right now, we can do things that help us to calm down. And here are some things for you to practice. The number one thing you can do to help your body and mind calm down is breathe. Deep breathing increases the supply of oxygen to your brain and stimulates the part of your brain which promotes a state of calmness. Here are a couple of breathing exercises for you to start practicing. Lengthen the exhale. Make your out-breath longer than your in-breath. Before you take a big deep breath, push all the air out of your lungs. Then simply let your lungs do their work inhaling air. Then try spending a little bit longer exhaling than you do inhaling. For example, try inhaling for 4 seconds then exhale for 6. Try doing this for 2-5 to five minutes three or four times a day. Belly breathing. Sit or lie comfortably. Place one hand on your tummy and the other on your chest. Notice which is moving the most. Breathe just from your tummy so the hand on your chest is still. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. This helps your whole body relax as it reduces the stress hormone cortisol. And do this for up to 10 minutes, two or three times a day, 
and gradually you'll start to breathe like this naturally. The next best thing you can do to help yourself relax is practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is the basic human ability to be fully present of where you are and what you are doing. It sounds very simple, but it has superpower qualities. Practicing mindfulness once or twice a day can have a really powerful effect on your anxiety and general well-being. And these are great apps to help you practice. Headspace, Smiling Mind and Mindfulness Daily. A mindful exercise to use when you feel very anxious or overwhelmed and you need something to help you calm down quickly is the grounding technique. You can do this anywhere. First, notice five things that you can see. For example, a red car, a blue curtain, or a striped rug. Then notice five things you can hear. Is it a car engine, the wind, or a clock ticking? And then five things that you can feel. Your leg on the chair, or the cool air blowing over your face. Then, notice four things you can see, four things you can hear, four things you can feel. Repeat for three things, then two things, then one thing. Then start it all again if you need to. Here are some other quick wins to help you feel calmer. If you find yourself constantly worrying, choose a set time in the day to worry. Every time you start to worry, write it down and then go over your worry list at the time that you planned. The Worry Time app helps you with this. Be kind to yourself. Talk to yourself as you would a friend. Be understanding and non-judgmental with yourself. Make a rule that you will take no notice of the automatic negative thoughts about yourself. Look after your body. All of these things will help your body and mind feel relaxed and take it out of stress mode. Try these things too. Acknowledge what is happening and that it is stressful. Stay connected to friends and family. Try to find some positives, even small ones. Check in with friends to make sure they're okay. Get dressed every day. Try to have a routine, plan what you're going to do and do it, even if it's something quite small. Don't watch the news constantly, check in once or twice a day for example. And only watch news from a reliable source, don't believe everything you see. There are plenty of apps that can help. Remember these things, we're all in this together and this will pass. We hope this guide will help you to manage your stress and anxiety at this difficult time. If you would like to talk to somebody at Streetwise, please go to our website streetwisenorth.org.uk and we are still open to give you support by phone or Skype. Stay safe and stay well.